is day five, Jungle Journey Science, Cycling in the Jungle. Okay, so we've been through the first six C's and today we are on the seventh C, which is consummation. So consummation means the end, it's finished. Everything has come full circle. So what we've done here is looked at the recycling that is going on in the jungle. So a lot of the kids already had heard in school about the water cycle, things like that, and this is just another cycle. So this cycle occurs when the materials in the jungle pass away, die, whatever it may be, and then they decay. So when they decay, everything in the jungle, if you were to look at everything that decays, the very basic ratio of atoms, of the majority of the atoms you're gonna get, is four carbons, six hydrogens, and three oxygens. There are some other elements in there, but um, that's the main thing that you're going to get from the living matter that has decayed. So we have here four gray pony beads, which are four carbons, six white pony beads, which are the six hydrogens, and three red pony beads for the three oxygens. Now, we took this water-soluble label stock Okay, and we printed onto it just a bark pattern. This is totally optional if you don't want to print the bark pattern, it's okay. Uh, we did it though so that when we wrapped our pony beads, they would look like little sticks. So we're going to be recycling our little sticks. For the older kids, we just put the, the pony beads into a stick and wrapped them and stuck the ends together to make a little twig. For the younger kids, we went ahead and strung them onto their cords for them, um, just to make it a little easier on them. So when theirs got wrapped, it looks a little bit different, so it's easy to tell which ones had the cords, which ones didn't. So younger kids, older kids, it's an option for you. So if you take this stick and you put it into water, it's gonna take longer than we have time for right now, but we can, we can maybe let it go just a tiny little bit this label will start to dissolve um, just like a canning label. How you can put something when you're canning, put something um, on your canning label and then it'll wash right off after you're finished with it. So if you can see, this is already starting to decay and the beads are already starting to come out. So after it has finished and all of the beads are free and on the bottom, they stir it up, they can pour off their water and then they can just fish their beads out with a spoon and put them on their string and they have a little reminder that they can take with them of the consummation in the jungle. This is day five, Jungle Journey Science, good again. This is the last one and it's a great one to leave the kids with because they love doing, the ones that love doing science love working with chemicals and such. Uh, this one is about the consummation. This one is from the beginning, when God created, everything was good. Then sin entered the world, corruption, and everything not so good anymore. We went through creation, corruption, catastrophe, confusion, Christ and the cross, consummation, it all goes back to being good again, when everything is done and everything is finished. So with this one, what we did is we used these little centrifuge tubes, um, that you can buy their 15 milliliter centrifuge tubes. You don't have to use this. You could just use little Dixie cups or whatever you wanted. But we tend to try to use the sciencey things to make the kids think they're really doing science, which they are, this is a reaction. So um, what we did then is we put some phenolphthalein into the centrifuge tube. I don't know, if, can you see this down here at the bottom? about this much, you really only need half that even, but the more you have in, the darker the color. So I had plenty. I went ahead and put a little extra in there. Um, so that's the first step is to get those prepared. Then we have two cups that we need to make. So I just use these little souffle cups or portion cups, um, used a big Sharpie marker and put ones and twos on these cups. Uh, they have to be done in order. So in the ones labeled one, we put a mixture of soda ash, which uh, is 
also known as washing soda or pH plus. So that's what's in our container numbered one. Over here we have our container number two, which is just white vinegar. The kids all were to take their little vial and they just took these plastic pipettes. They did not use these. We kept this very separate. We get, only gave them their number one and this pipette. Then they had to get rid of that into the center of the table so that no one accidentally um, contaminated um, or, or grabbed the wrong number. So we just had them suck some up into their pipette and squirt it down in there. And look at that, it's corrupted, okay? Now that color is pretty dark. So some of the kids are gonna think, how are you gonna fix that? But God can fix anything, right? Just like this chemical reaction can fix this color. So now we suck up the vinegar and we squirt it in, ready? And there we go, it's good again. So this was day five, Jungle Journey, good again.